Hi there, Kimberly Flanagan of Kimberly's Quilts. I'm a former Handy Quilter National Educator and I still teach classes uh, virtually via Zoom. And I also have a private Facebook group for um, my students and a few other people that, that have joined all on the topic of Pro Stitcher. I recently was asked, as a matter of fact, just like two days ago, how do I get a design that I've purchased online, downloaded to a USB, and then to my machine, and then uploaded to my Pro Stitcher with, on my actual stitching machine? Uh, there's, it's a very simple thing to do, but it is a question that comes up quite frequently. So I promised my student that I would jump on here and that I would send her a recording of how to do that. So I decided to just put it out there for everybody since this is sometimes a very common question. So I'm gonna share my screen here and I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to download it, the design, how to unzip it, and then how to transfer it to a USB and then how to locate that file within your machine. So I'm gonna share my screen here real quick so that you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna walk you through those steps. Okay, here we are on, this is my creative stitches. Let me move my video out of the way so you guys aren't seeing me. Uh, we're on my creative stitches. This is a site by Christy Dillon. Um, it's one of my personal favorites. I think that she does an incredible job digitizing. There's lots of good sites out there. I'm not just I'm not disparaging any site out there. I buy from a lot of different sites, some um, urban elements, uh, a bit orange, uh, a bit orange. I love her uh, things as well. However, hers are much more uh, detailed and intricate. You need I would not suggest some of her designs, not all of them. She's got some good beginner designs, but some of hers you need to have some uh, clear knowledge of Pro Stitcher to use. But for a beginner, for just basic designs, um, Christy Dillon is one of my probably top three. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to come in here and I've already logged on. And you can see when I go to my profiles, I can see all of my past orders. So I'm just going to pick the last one that I purchased. When I click on that, it will bring it up and it will show me that the last order was the Charlotte set. And here's a little download button. Sometimes it's a little button out here to the right on some of the sites that says download. Sometimes it's just this little arrow. But the whole point is somewhere on your order screen, you will see a place where it gives you the ability to download this. I'm on my laptop. So if I hit the download button, it's going to come over here. And it's going to show me all of the files that are in it. And you can see here, there's a file name called Charlotte set.zip. If I click on that, you will see up in the right-hand corner of my screen, this is the downloads dialog box, and it is starting to download this file. If I click on it, it will show me right here exactly what it's downloading. Okay. It will also, if I click on this, it will show me the file folder under which that it is downloading this to. If you see here, I have lots of things downloaded in the past, um, but right here it is, and it's called charlottesset.zip. So I can come in here now, and I'm closing up all these things. I can come in here now, and at this point, I usually move this to wherever I want it on my main directory. Um, whole nother thing about how to go about organizing your files and everything. And maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, but you can do this from right here. If I highlight and click on the zip file, you will see up here the option to extract all. So if I click extract all, it's now gonna ask me if this is where I wanna save the files once they're extracted. This is a zip file. A zip file is compressed files 
that are made much smaller so they move faster when you're downloading them they take up less space on your machine so it's a very common way in which files are delivered not just long arming files but all across the the IT industry so if I come in here you can change the location of where you want this to be unzipped I'm going to leave it in the downloads file for right now so I'm going to if I want to change it I quickly hit I just quickly hit this browse button and it would let me choose any location that I want. I'm gonna up, I'm gonna do it right here in the downloads. I will now hit extract. And you will see that it starts calculating how long it's taking to extract the files. Now you will see that if I go to my downloads folder again, I have the zip file. But I also have another file folder without the .zip. That is your extracted files. So if I click on that, you will see that here I have the PDFs of all of the designs. If you want to print those out and keep them, you can. I personally don't because with the number of designs that I purchase, it becomes a bit overwhelming. You will also see down here all of these different file folders called Charlotte, and then there's an SSD, there's a WMF, QCC, QLI. All of these are the different file extension types. For ProStitcher, if you get the option to do an HQV file, that's my personal preference. It's a vector-based file format. If you don't, then HQF will be um, your, the file folder type for for this download session. I click on that and you will see that all of the various blocks or edge to edges or borders are now downloaded into one area here. I can now take a USB stick. These are my personal favorites. I do a lot of work on Macs. So this USB and it's purchased on Amazon, I'll put a link below for where I find it, it has the traditional USB dongle, but it also has on the other end a USB-C. This is the USB port for a Mac. And so if I'm working on my Mac, I can do this just by putting this end and the laptop instead of from a Windows machine, this end. You do need a traditional USB port for when we get to Pro Stitcher. So if you're working on a Mac, you have to have one of these. I'm going to be honest, do not confuse the fact that you can do this on a Mac with you can do this on a Mac on your Pro Stitcher machine. You cannot. Pro Stitcher does not work on Mac devices um, in simulation or at your tablet. They are only, it's only a Windows-based product. But I do do a lot of my regular day-to-day -day shopping and that kind of stuff, browsing long arm sites and everything on my Mac. So that's why I say that if you are on a Mac shopping and downloading items, that's where you keep your file management. These little USB devices are a godsend. So back to the way we do it with a Windows. I'm going to take the USB device and I am going to plug it into the side of my computer over here. And you will see over here that down on the left-hand side, a USB drive B has shown up. And that is actually your uh, USB device. All I have to do is, come, <clears throat> excuse me, come in here and highlight any or all of the handy quilter file types that I wanna move to my Pro Stitcher. And all I have to do is come over here and highlight them all and drag and drop them to that D. You will see that it's working. And now when if I go over here and I click on the D device, here are all of my files or all of my folder, uh, all of my designs. I now can take the USB device and I'm going to uh, come up here and click on the C because I don't want, I'm removing it. The D device has now gone away because I've taken the USB device out of my laptop. 
So now I'm going to go to my handy um, my handy quilter machine, and I'm going to upload this dongle and the designs on it to my Pro Stitcher. So let me start sharing my Pro Stitcher so that you can see how to import this. Let's go here. So this is what your Pro Stitcher machine uh, will look like when you get to it. Uh, there are multiple locations. Let me back up. There's not more. So every machine has its own location for where the USB port is. I have an infinity. It's on the left side of the machine head, not the tablet, uh, about midway down on the side of the machine towards the front. And it's kind of underneath. You have to get underneath and you put the USB stick in this way. Uh, the, the machines vary in where their USB location is. If you're not sure where yours is, please contact or reference your the material on the Pro Stitcher or Handy Quilter website, and it will clearly tell you there where your location is. If you really don't know, contact your retailer. They'll be glad to tell you where it is on your Amaro or your Moxie or whatever machine you purchase. So I'm now going to insert this USB dongle into my port on my Handy Quilter. And when I go in here and I say file design open, this is what you would traditionally see. What if I come down here now and I close up this little window here? Now you will see that the D drive is active. That is our USB. So if I click on that D drive, here are all of the designs that can now be utilized because those were the ones we downloaded from the, our last order and transferred to our USB device. If I come in here and say I open this one. One of the first things I personally do is I come in here and I say save and I come in here and I go back to my C drive and I go to, to designs, that's where your designs are held. And I come in here and this was a Christy Dillon design and I come in here and I save it. Now that design is forever stored in my Pro Stitcher uh, tablet. I say forever, forever as long as you have that tablet or until you delete it. The other thing is, I also have a, for some reason, I don't know why, but I also have a file folder on here that if I come in here, and it's also called oh, My Creative Stitches. I tend to, I don't know how I ever did that, don't know why I ever did it, but I actually come in here and tend to save them in both places. Now, whenever I want to reference this design, it's there. The other thing that I will do often if it's a set like this is I will come in here and I'll clear this out and I'll come in here and I'll get another one. And I will save each one of these. And I only have to do this once by saving it. So now they're forever options. Again, go to my designs folder and I'm gonna go to Christy Dillon and I'm gonna save it. Now this is forever in my Pro Stitcher and I only have to do this step once. The other thing that I also do is I store my designs in the cloud. I have a cloud uh, location that I store my designs on. Uh, years ago, I used to sign, store all of my purchase designs on an external hard drive. Well, that crashed. I spent a lot of time recreating that external hard drive and re-downloading all of my designs. And at that point, I made the decision that there was enough benefit to me purchasing cloud storage. And there's a lot of free. Amazon has cloud storage, uh, Microsoft does. There's a lot of places, um, box folders do, that give you a minimal amount of cloud storage. I will do a whole nother video on how to store your files and keep them safe from losing them. But this is the process. 
really quick, really easy to download your files from the website and to actually import them into your Pro Stitcher and save them so that they're constantly available for eternity for you. I hope that answered your question uh, for the lady in my Facebook group that asked me to create this video for. If not, message me and let me know what was not clear, and I will try and make sure that I either update this video or um, demystify whatever still uh, giving you troubles. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it and subscribe to my channel. That really will help me get this promoted to others that might have the same questions. Uh, again, thank you and happy stitching.